Hi guys, this is OS again, back with another tutorial of 2016 AutoCAD's Essential Training. This video is all about selection. Before you can modify objects, you need to select them. And it doesn't really matter how you want to modify them. You might want to move them or copy them, whatever you want to do. But all those commands start with a select object prompt. So to show you guys how does that work, I'm going to go and open my drawing, what I was working on. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my move command. And the very obvious way to select anything is just by clicking on them. It's a very common way to do it, but it's not very efficient. We've got better ways to do selection. Let's say if I want to select these stairs, I don't want to sit down and select all these lines. So we've got a better way to do it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is two types of windows we get. Let's say if I click and drag to the right, I've got a blue window. If I click and drag to the left, I get a green window. So what's the difference between them? To show you, I'm going to go draw a line. Draw two lines. Okay, so now to select them, I'm going to go and select my move command. Let's say I'll select from the right to left. And even if I click here, it's going to select the whole line. And now, what if I'm going to go and select from left to right? See, it did not select. This is because the difference between green and blue window is the green window touches anything, it will be selected. But the blue window has to be as completely over the full object. The full object has to be in the blue window for selection. I have to go all the way and select it to select this line. So let's go and try this on the stairs. What if I want to select the stairs? What if I start from right to left? As you can see, everything what green window touches will be selected. But I want to select the only stair object. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to go and start from here to the right. And I will click all about here. So as you can see, only the stair objects were completely in the blue window. That's why they are the one only selected. So now we know that what, how, what's the difference between green and blue window. So let's go and try this move command. If I select only this part, the window uh, stairs will be selected. But if I go and from move command, if I start from here and I leave here, so as you can see, these lines were not in there. So that's why they were not selected. I'm going to show you another way of selection. If I go and select my move command, as you can see, there is nothing on the command line. So I've got another command for you, which is called fence selection. So if you type F and enter, it's going to give us a line. So I can draw a line. Anything comes in this line will be selected. So this is pretty good way to select these kind of objects. Let's say we got a lot of stairs, we got a lot of objects in a line so all we're going to do is just make a fence selection and do it it works with a lot of commands let's say i'm going to trim something then i have to use fence let's say i want to trim these lines so what i'm going to do i'm going to tr to start a trim command fence all these lines are trimmed so i go and type u spacebar to undo that one more time so let's have a look at lasso selection. It works the same way as green window and a blue window. So if I go and click and drag, I can make a lasso. Anything this green window touches will be selected. So I go, you can drag this anywhere you want. So I click, see all these things are selected. And I go from the left now. So anything completely in the blue window will be selected. So this is another way to do it this is called lasso selection there is another command which we can use to select the previous object we were working on so I'm gonna go and select move command and I'm gonna go select them and spacebar select my base point and move them oh I just realized that I wanted to copy them not to move them so what I can do I can select copy and now Instead of selecting them, I'm just going to go and type P spacebar 
and the previous object I was working on will be selected. It's very useful when your selection are very huge and you're selecting very small objects and you didn't want to go all the way and select all of them. So you can use this command by pressing P, it will be selected. So all the previous object will be selected. So I'll show you another example for selecting a previous command. I'm going to go and select copy and go P, spacebar, select my base point and then copy them. So now if I go again and try to move whatever I copied, and I go select, move command, press P, spacebar. As you can see, it did not actually select those objects because we were copying them, but the, we were, the, the object we were working on was these two lines. So you gotta keep in mind that whatever you were working on, those will be selected. Let's say you wanna select everything in the drawing. So what you can do is move command and type all, hit spacebar and everything in the drawing will be selected. Okay, let's go ahead and look another way. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this line, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go right click, and I've got these options here now. What if I wanna select all these lines in the stair? So by right clicking, I've, I've got these options, and I can go for this command, say select similar. If I click on this, it's gonna select all the lines in the stair. So what this checks is, it checks whether the, all the same objects were on the same layer and their types as well. Okay, so now we're gonna go and have a look at another method of selection. We're almost done here, but I wanna make sure that I give you everything about selection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type properties. You can get your properties by typing properties or you can go and click on the view and click properties okay so now I'm gonna go and click properties so here we got three options first I'm gonna talk about quick select okay so now we'll get this dialog box and it's asking me if I'm gonna apply this to the entire drawing let's do that so I'll keep that entire drawing and now it's going to ask me what kind of object type I'm looking for. So I can go and select line, polyline, arc, anything you want here. So I'm going to go and say multiple. So if I want to select by color, I can select by color. If I want to select by layer, I can click here and select by layer. I want to select by line type, I can select by line type. So for now I'm going to go and select by layer. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select objects so let's say I'll go and select this whole drawing enter and now what I'm gonna select is a stair okay so to do that I'll go and give a value I will go and select my stairs inside and click OK so now as you can see whatever we're on inside stair layer will be selected. I want to select all the interior. Let's go ahead and do that again. So I go and click on the properties again and I go and quick select. I will select entire drawing and I'm going to select layer and then here I'm going to go and select interior. Yep. And now I'm going to go and select the whole drawing. Enter select interior click OK so as you can see whatever were interior in my drawing it will be selected selection is what you do every time you work on AutoCAD so it's very important that you know how to select your objects and how to work with them alright thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video follow along with my course for the in-depth training of AutoCAD 2016 essential training 